Hello YouTube, how the heck are you doing? Hopefully you're not as frustrated as I am about these changes with YouTube and Streamlabs OBS. If you are, I hope I can help you out. So let's jump right into it. So before you used to be able to be in studio and you could go live just on the left hand side. Well, they removed that and now you have to go live from the button up here. You're gonna click your go live button and now you have the option to copy and create a stream that you've done prior. Click the drop down. If you have something that is similar to what you're streaming now, if it's something you're streaming every day, you can pop this in and everything will be set up the, you know, with the tags, all that stuff already, already in there. And you just kind of update it, just a couple changes, title, stuff like that. But for our purposes today, we're gonna start a new stream. When you hop in here, I am going to name this test stream for our purposes. You're going to want to change this to private. You got to start off in private. Now, if there's any other way to do this, please let me know. But, uh, for our purposes, what we want to do is you want to throw us in private because you don't want it to go live while you're still setting everything up. Cause as soon as you come down here and click create stream, it's going to send out a notification of a stream starting soon and all that stuff. So private, you can go ahead and copy and paste and put all your information in here for your description. Um, select what you are streaming and your game title. You can type in here. Now you can select your schedule for later. If you want to schedule it for later, um, enable your monetization and upload your thumbnail. We're just going to throw, one of my most recent thumbnails up in there just so we have a thumbnail in there you can see and then obviously with the new changes you have to select is it for, made for kids or not here um not made for kids all right and then you can also go into your age uh restrictions where you can make it over 18 and all that but that's up to you and your channel so you go ahead and create stream i always double check just to make sure i'm on private we are creating stream. Now it's going to go ahead, set your stream up. Now you got your, your stream keys and stuff like that. You can also make your own custom keys here, but, uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave the keys that they make set your latencies here. And then, uh, over here, you got your other little things you can add delays and stuff like that. So this is set up and kind of ready to go. Now you go into your Streamlabs OBS. What happens with Streamlabs is they decided to change when you log in to Streamlabs under YouTube, you're going to get your your channel name and uh you know saying stream it to YouTube and your channel name. What I was doing because I couldn't figure this crap out because every time you hit go live, it would ask you to put, uh, now this pops up before you would just go live because you'd have your stream key and everything in there. But now it's popping up and asking you for descriptions and titles. And you're like, what the hell? I had that already all done on YouTube. Well, go into here and you're looking for your stream that you've already set up on YouTube that we just set up. So at, because we set this up already, now we can find it in here. So we're going to pick test stream and then it already puts all the information in here and you can confirm and go live because you're on private. So you just not going to have to worry. You're not going to go live here and all of a sudden be on stream and you're not ready to go. Right. But since we set it to private, you can hit go live. Then it'll start sending the information to YouTube. See, it says your stream will start shortly. Uh, you can close this window. All right, let's go ahead and close that window. And we are going to go back. We are going to go back to YouTube because we still have to put our keywords and all that stuff in, right? So now the third step, stay with me here. The third step to put your keywords and everything else in there. Go 
Going back to YouTube. Going to YouTube Studio. Videos. Going to Lives. And you'll see your upcoming stream here. YouTube's been having some issues with the videos today. Grabbing the data and stuff. So here we go. So now this is our stream that we are preparing. We're on private. So we're going to go into that. And here's where you can fine tune a lot of things. You can select playlists. Um, down here is where you'll put your tags. All that, right? So you just type your tags in, whatever you want. Or copy, paste. However you do your tags, you know what you do. We'll just do tags here, right? Save your changes. And we're all set to go. But here is where all your other stuff is that you used to be able to put in all at one place. You can see you already got your thumbnail and everything. You can copy your link. Um, you can do all that. Now you are set to go. You go back to your YouTube page. You can see that we are streaming. It says live, but we're private, remember? So it's not streaming live until we change it. And we can change it here, no problem. Or you can go into edit and change right here and make it go live. But we are in private right now, so you don't have to worry. Then after you do that, once you actually make it public, see now you have your chat bot and all that stuff set up over here. But if you use custom ingest server, your chat and stuff will not show up in your OBS. So you have to use the one that they've selected for you. And this is the process I found to work. So I hope this helps you guys out. I was just going crazy. I was almost at the point of saying screw YouTube and going to Twitch to start streaming. Um, but I've spent so much time here and trying to make this work. It, it's just drove me nuts um, on YouTube. And I, I really like YouTube. I just don't know why they made these changes. I've been searching the internet trying to figure out how to do this properly. So I just kind of went through trial and error and figured it out. If you're having problems, I hope it helped you. Let me know in the comments below if it helped you out. I really hope it did. If there's something I missed and there's shorter cuts to this, please let me know. I couldn't find anything online about how to go live with Streamlabs OBS and YouTube both changing at the same time of how they go live. Um, I don't know if it was interconnected or something like that, but uh, it was really messing me up. Let me know if you know of any better tips or tricks of how to go live now. Um, if it's anything easier, quicker, I would really appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments below if it helped you out. All right, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the stream.